Hi, how are you today? Hope you're safe and fine doing great at home or wherever you are. My name is Renz Tietje and welcome to another episode of The Mind Cures. The Mind Cures is a compilation of sales tips to give, motivation, people's stories, of events, of lifestyle, of experiences about food and travel. really has changed. A bigger percentage of our tasks cannot be done in a setup we call working from home. In this plan, we are going to take a look at some of the best remote working apps, especially for video conferencing. We are going to learn about some online tools that I believe can help us to stay productive, connected, and engaged during this time where technology is so thriving. So let me give you some advice. Let me give you some tips that you can use for your daily transaction with your clients using this five famous apps for virtual meetings and for webinar. And this is how we're going to use them. Let's find out. These are the five famous apps which I'm going to recommend to you. This is so great. You just have to explore it. Just have to study it. And here we go, I'm going to give you practical tips on how you're going to use it. We have Zoom, MS Teams, StreamYard, the Google Hangouts or Meets, and of course, the Slack. Zoom is my favorite. For virtual meetings, Zoom is a strong contender. The picture quality is so excellent. For me, of course, better than Teams. And the gallery function, oh my god, you just gonna love it which allows you to see everyone at once, all on one screen. It is particularly amazing and great. Here we go. Let's do a demonstration on how to use the Zoom. Zoom is very nice. You can share a screen. You can invite your participant. You can just initiate a meeting. You can even control your microphones. You can adjust adaptability. You can just reach out with your teams having all of these functions. Let's get it started. All right. So the first thing that you need to do is to go to the website. Just go to the zoom.as, zoom.as.com. You can see the Zoom logo there or the Zoom app. So all you have to do is to download this one. You can also go to your Apple Store and then to your Google Play and just look for this icon for this logo that is zoom zoom cloud meetings or zoom that's just the same just download it once you download it of course you need to sign up you have you need to have your emails all right so you're going to, to you open it and uh, when you open it you will be seeing all of this like this so you can join you can join the meeting you can host a meeting if you want to call a meeting for everyone if you want to present if you want to sing if you want to greet a family and you're the one initiating the meeting just host it put video on video up or screen share only you can do the screen sharing so yeah but it's nice for you to, to sign in okay so you can also join a meeting if you don't want to host you can join a meeting as well just click this one for example so uh, you will be needing the link to be sent to you by the host or someone invited you. Somebody invited you. So just put in there the link and uh, password, etc. the meeting ID, then you can join. Automatically you can join. Why Zoom? As I mentioned, Zoom is very good, it's very friendly, and very helpful. So with Zoom, we can, you know, meet, we can chat. 
can have the video conferencing, video webinar. There is a conference room that you can just talk to anybody, watch and learn. You can also call, and it's also a marketplace where you can present your product. So it's nice because uh, it's very uh, friendly and easy to use. And the price also if you want to buy a ProZoom, very affordable only. Okay, so let's go inside. So if you have your apps already, if you have the Zoom already in your laptop or desktop or your tab, you can just sign in. Let's sign in. So if you're the first one to do it, you just sign up. If you sign up, it's for free. You need to do this. They'll be making your 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 birthday, your emails, etc., etc. Just continue. Okay. Once you have now your account, you go to sign in. Now I have my Pro Zoom account. It's there. It is saved there, so I can just easily sign in. Okay. For me to show you. There we go. We're inside now the web. This is the default web for the Zoom. So I have there, you can have a profile. You can just click that one. Okay. Click your name. Then you can just edit your profile, change your picture, change, delete, etc., etc. Then you have your your data over there. Okay. Let's do first the the most important thing is for you to schedule a meeting. For example, how to do it. So we have meeting, schedule a meeting. This is the basic, no? See, this is the first thing that you need to know. If you want to invite somebody to join you, just add your title, for example, uh, uh, Rens Meeting with Managers. Okay. There we go. So description, reporting. Reporting uh, accomplishment. Okay. So I just set the date. For example, 90 today, 10 to a.m. to, okay, onward, etc., etc. So, you can also have the duration. Just put in there. It doesn't matter because for free, you'll be only having 40 minutes. I mean, 45. But if you have ProZoom, it's okay. It will last until 24 hours. But that's it. All you have to do is to save it. This is the most important details for you to create. Then you save it. Okay? So, save. Let's have save it. So once you have now the meeting schedule, it will be recorded in your meetings. There you go. This is now your meetings. This schedule here, it will be seen here, your meetings. So now you can start the meeting now. Right? You can start the meeting right there. And uh, of course, you can just copy the link. The most important is to copy the invitation. So copy the invitation. And copy the invitation. There you go. You can just uh, highlight it. Go to the passcode and copy it. Copy meeting invitation. Right? So you go to Facebook, for example. You need to send it to anyone. So easy to send the link. Okay, for example, I'll be sending it to myself. And there you go. My name is my other account. Then I just Save it there, then you have now the link for the Zoom. Your participants will just click this one, okay? Join Cloud Meeting. Automatic, if they click this one, they will be directed to the Zoom Web Meeting. That's easy. Okay, going back with our presentation, so that you're done, you can start anytime with your meeting already. Okay, if you don't want to join the meeting, how to join the meeting? So all you have to do is to click the link sent to you by the one will be presiding a meeting. Other parts of the uh, depot inside the, the Zoom is your recordings. You can check all the recordings that you have. If you recorded it, then it will just be seen here. Just look for the date. Okay? So you can record everything. You can just download it or export it or import it. For this setting, we have also a lot of settings for your audio, security, waiting room. We can just, uh, uh, you know, edit that, customize waiting room. You can put everybody in a waiting room, record a password when they enter. And yeah, there's a lot more things to schedule meeting, host a video. There's a lot of things that you can do to customize it. Okay? So, let's go. So we also have a lot of functions more. 
later on we're going inside the zoom so user management the room management account management and advanced just click of that for you to explore so that or other functions or of the zoom so going on going on now to the web let's start the meeting for you to see the actual what's happening inside the web okay so we discussed this one automatically if you want the host you can just go directly here by the way if you don't want to schedule a meeting right there and then you open your zoom then you can just create a meeting so for example let's do this so with video on okay you can do that as well so open the zoom i'm now having my own zoom this is other way on how you can send your invitation to your invitation to your there you go so you're seeing now want to up my zoom mm -hmm. so with this we are now inside the room of the uh, zoom it's so easy you open it you have the vision then you invite other people aside from doing the invitation in the meetings that I've shown you a while ago, you can just invite your friends, click the default email, whatever email that they have, then it will give you the link of your Zoom meeting. So again, another way is for you to copy again. Copy it. Just copy it. Okay. Then copy, then you go back again to your Facebook account, then you just paste it again. That's the other way for you straightforward. You go directly inside it, and that's it. You have noticed something. Okay, so going back for me for me to show you the features, so you can invite already. We have the chat room. The chat room is so nice. Just click that one. So type everything. Hello to all the members. Then that's it. You have now we can talk to a lot. This is the sign for the chat room. For the participants, for you to see the participants, just click that one. I am only one here. So because I, I don't have a guest, I'm doing the demo. You can meet your participants and other options. You can rename your name. What do you want uh, to be seen in your screen, your name? Okay, you can do that. So in participants, you can control them also. You can unmute, you can mute, you can block them. Okay. So for sharing screen, it's very important how to share a screen. But then anyway, before that, we have advanced setting over here. If you want to do advanced setting. If you want to stop others from sharing, if you want to, or the only want to do the presentation and nobody should interrupt, you can do the advanced sharing options over here. One of the most important features of the Zoom is the share screen. Okay? That's how you're going to do it. Share screen, click that one, click your presentation, then there you go. If you click that one and share, you'll be having that share on your screen. Okay? So for example, let's do it. I'm going to share my screen again. Share the screen. There you go. I'm sharing it to everybody. So you can see my screen. If you want to see my Zoom, there you go. You can see my presentation. You can have my presentation here. All you have to do is to play it. Then that's it. You can have a presentation with your client. Scroll your presentation. Right? Then you do, if you want to stop the presentation, Click this one, stop share, stop share. Then you will be uh, returned back to your web. You can close this one also if you want to close it. The other thing is you can pause, you can recording, you can do the recording, and etc. etc. More, you can go if you have a ProZoom, I told you, you can go live on Facebook, in a workplace, or live in YouTube. Okay? So aside from that, we have also this one. We can make your microphone. A video on you can video setting if you have your camera attached then you can just do it okay the video chatter chatter the audio as well so also you can have customize your audio setting if you have a USB make sure that it's in USB audio device if you don't have then you just use your microphone your laptop or microphone for speaker, so that's the speaker I'm talking right now. There you go. So if you want to the speaker of the laptop, then you can use that as well. Okay. So that's how you can just customize. So once you're familiar with the Zoom, you can just uh, adjust the setting. That's it. Zoom is great, isn't it? You can sign up this Zoom for free. But this comes with some limitations. 
you can only host group meetings for 45 minutes and you're limited to 100 participants only. If you want to extend the hours and the number of participants, you need to have a paid subscription. In my case, I bought a Pro Zoom which cost me $14.99 a month. You're still limited to 100 participants, but you can host group meetings up to 24 hours. It is lovely and exciting, right? But most importantly, you can now go Zoom live streaming via Facebook. Number two in my list, the Microsoft Teams, or we call it MS Teams. Since the outbreak, Microsoft Teams has exceeded 44 million daily active users. It's easy to see why. The app offers chat functionality as well as virtual meetings and file sharing options. It's also highly scalable and it's easy to organize different conversation threads by subject area. Also, the good thing about MS Teams, its virtual meetings feature is particularly so good. The picture quality is so good as well, and it can handle larger, longer meetings better than many similar tools out there. MS Teams, you can communicate through chat, you can communicate through meeting, you can communicate through virtual conferencing, you can also communicate through calling. Communicate with your presentation by sharing files. You can allow it because there's also a lot of packet rooms where you can just split your meetings in just one setup. That's all fine arts. This is how we're going to show you a demonstration on how to effectively use your MS Teams. Let's do this. Have a meeting using MS Teams, you need to download it, right? Just go on Google Store or iPhone Store, then look for MS Teams. This is the logo for MS Teams, and you're done. You just download it. If you have your phone with Microsoft Office, that will be easy for you to have it, no? So also, you go to website, the URL for the Microsoft Teams. Just search it in the Google engine, then you can just find it. Once you have installed it, then you're now ready to receive and create a meeting, all right? So to create the meeting, as I mentioned, it's nice that you have an Outlook. This is the first one to do. This is very professional. There are two ways on how to create and invite a meeting. You go to your calendar using your Outlook account. This is my Outlook account email, no? Or you can do it directly to your MS Teams. Later, I'm going to show you. So it's nice with this Outlook account. If you have this account, this is my company account. So you just go to the calendar. There is there. You open your email. Take the calendar at the back, down part. Then you just, uh, new event. You create this one, new event. If you're going to invite them, if you're the one to do, if you're the presenter, if you're the one to conduct a meeting, or virtual uh, transaction with your client. So you just take this one, new event. Once you take that one, then you're going to have the title, meeting with Mr. Rain. So maybe you'll have a client. So then invite attendees. In inviting attendees, you need to put their email, whatever their emails. For example, I'll be putting my email, that one. Then you include another email, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just put it there any kind of email. So you take the date of your meeting, for example, today, and uh, let's say the time later on. Can I start by uh, PM? Okay, let's set the, uh, let's set the uh, days. For example, we'll be having a meeting later on by 5.30. Then up to when? To 7.30 PM. There we go. So you have simple way on how to invite the day, the time. So you can add description. Please join me in a meeting. So that's just an example. So if you have the client, you prepare a good uh, invitation. So just take this one. Don't forget this one. Add online meeting. You need to take the Teams meeting. There you go. So once you have this, all you have to do is to send this invitation. You have already the invitation, right? So again, you need to put in here, oh, the person that you know or the people that you want to join you in your MS team. So just click that one. Then when you're done, there you go. For example, as I say that we have already, just send it. Okay, let's, let's check. So I'll send it to the recipient. So event created. I have it now. All right. So we're not going to check. I'll go to my uh, email if I receive it. If 
your client receive it. Let's find out and let's check. So this is my other email. If I receive the invitation. There we go. Meeting with Mr. Rain. So I have the invitation, right? So this is very formal. This is very nice. So you can see the link. So how can you join if you are attendant? All you have to do is here. Just take this one, then you will be directed to Microsoft Teams. So this is how it works. So if I take the link, so automatically the participant will be receiving and you will be directed in this uh, MS Team. Okay, so you can prepare to open your microphone, to open your, your, your videos. So this is now your Microsoft Teams, right? So you're now attending Microsoft Teams. All right, so you can just enjoy it. For those who don't have the link because they were not invited, you can consider them as a guest. You can also invite them to, att to attend the meeting, but as a guest. All you have to do is to right-click this one, then copy the link address, okay? Right-click, copy the address, then you go to Facebook account for you to just send to all of them. Let's check. So... Okay, let's go to Facebook. Then let's uh, try to send it to other people that we want to join the meeting. So it's easy. All I have to do is to paste it there just like what we did in StreamYard. Okay, then paste the link. There we go. So your client now or other people can join the meeting even if they don't have the invitation. So they will serve as a guest. but be sure that they also downloaded the MS Teams. It's another way to invite a meeting directly inside the Microsoft Teams if you don't want to email them. All right, so it's working. You can see that my it is customized. I prefer you can customize the, the face of your web of your window with the Microsoft, no? So, you can see all of here, the function of this. The good thing about this one, we can see all the functions, right? So we have the activity, meaning to say what's happening inside. Previous activity. You can make a chat with your friends. Yeah, create a chat there, then just send it there. Then we have the themes. This is the good thing about the themes. So when we have the themes, you can create different types of themes, meaning to say these are the people that you want to talk to. So how to make all of these themes that I'm showing you? There's a tab there join or create a team for example join or create a team see so create a team this one you can just create for example what kind of a team is that so what you're going to do is build a team from scratch I mean to say from the start so uh public anyone in your org can join okay so give your name for the team for example clients clients room see so description let people know what this team is all about let people know what this team is uh this is a presentation station room right so then create it's so easy then it will be once you created it will be seen in your then before that by the way before that it will be seen here once you create before that typing a name or a group you can just add now your names or emails you can just it there for example uh, Rene, my name so click it there so lalabas no so you can see that uh i have my name there or just in, you can just add email for example or uh, rain cantilias rain cantilias at yahoo.com okay okay uh, yeah sorry cantilias.com yahoo okay dot com there you go then you add all right as a guess okay then you add 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 everybody if you're in one organization your the emails of your fans will be reflected automatically here it will be shown here it's easy to find them but if you want to have a guest then you just just input the email then add it all all right then add then uh close it once you're done you just close it so here, let's find out. Where's your room? Where's your team that you created? Client's room. There we have. We have it here. Okay. So you have the client room. When you open that room, you can easily just uh, 
create a room. Okay. Okay. So you can start the conversation automatically with there. All right. So now, how to create? I mentioned a while ago that you can just directly go to your uh, Microsoft Teams and invite them. For example, so you can see this the video, right? So automatic, go to your the room of your MS Teams, go to this icon. This is your video icon and meet people. This will happen now if you want to do the virtual conferencing. Meet now. There you go. You can see that I'm uh, having now uh, a room, no? So these are now the functions of your Teams. So all you have to do is, let's remove that one. It's blocking the, all right. So you can see it here. If you want to invite someone, you have the link with you, right? You can create the link or just copy the link, that one. So you copy the link and you have the link and you paste it in your Facebook account or your NHC. So you can invite also someone, for example, you invite your friends, just add your email here, then just click there. For example, if you have now the list of those of your friends included in the MS team, then you can just uh, right click this one, or maybe you can just double click this one and call them. So automatically, if you take this one, call it, and automatically will be receiving your call. So for example, this one, there is a sign there. So ask to join. So when you call them automatically, they will enter, all right? That's easy. So you can start the conversation. The good thing about uh, MS Teams also is that you can do the file sharing. Just click this one. You can make your camera and your microphone off. This also, uh, you can record, start recording, show the device setting, et cetera, et cetera. You can just explore all of that. So this one also, you, can, you, can, you have your participants over here. You can just see, they can just create a chat there. And this one, you can see who are your participants in your meeting, all right? So if you want also to create your calls, it is here. You want to put your calendar, you can do it here. You can also download files. You can check all the files being downloaded by your friends in your chat room. In the chat room, you can just download, no? Just uh, here, this one, you can attach here, right? Attach file, everything will be saved in your files. So a lot of you can use Microsoft Teams for free as long as you have a Microsoft account. Go to Outlook.com to have your account. But this gives you limited file sharing capabilities and restricts the number of users up to only 300. Number three in my list, Google Hangouts or Google Meets. This is so nice and so easy, especially for beginners. Google Meets is free for personal use by anyone with a Gmail account. You must have a Gmail account. It offers a place to organize your team messages and set up and join video meetings just as easy as that. You can also use it to connect any meeting room to a video meeting with a single click. Let me show you how to use it. Then let's go to Google Hangouts. All you have to do again is to go to uh, if you have the Google Chrome with you, you can just easily all of that here. If you have the Google Chrome, you have you open, I try to have a Google account for you to enjoy Google Hangouts. There you go. You can see it there. So all you have to do is to take this one. When you take this one, this screen will be shown, right? So it's so easy, very, very, very friendly, very easy to use. So if you want to have a video call, you can do this. Have a video call. So automatically this will happen okay so you can send an invitation to your people to any email you can also copy the link just copy the link save it to your gcs and you can invite people also all right so just as easy as that so you can uh, turn up your camera as well so also we can see it here if you want to share a screen you just share a screen then automatically click that one then share a screen so you can, you can also look for the file so it can be seen in your screen. Also, if you want to have the full screen, you can do that. If you want to chat, there you go. Then send a message to everyone. Send show messages. You can see it here. So just send a message to your chat so you can talk to your participant inside the Google Hangouts. Okay? That's so easy. That's just about all about uh, your Google, Google Hangouts and Google Meets. 
It is easy to use the Google Hangouts, right? Hangouts is free for personal use by anyone with a Gmail account. Always remember that. But when we heard about Hangouts Meet, it is the ramp-up business version of Google Hangouts, and it's only available if you have a Google Business account. Number four in my list. Oh my God, you gotta love this. StreamYard. StreamYard is a live streaming studio in your browser. You can interview guests, you can share your screen, you can conduct great meetings, you can actually share videos and audio, you can share a lovely presentations of your PowerPoint or any file that you want to share with your viewers. And the good thing about this one, you can have your own banner at the bottom of your screen. It's so nice. And the most important feature of this, which I love so much, is that you can stream directly to Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and other platforms for free. Want to know about how to use this? Let's find out. All right, let me share you how to use StreamYard. You're going to love this. First, you have to go to the StreamYard.com site or URL. Then you just sign up there. Once you sign up, the usual, the typical way and how we do sign up, you know. So have your email, have your telephone number, have your password. So once you have your account, automatically you can sign in. So now I, I signed in and you can see my page. We can create a broadcast right now, right? So this is the first page. So easy for you. If you want to have a meeting, we need to say you create a broadcast. If you want to go live streaming, you create a broadcast. Let's do this. Create a broadcast. Then the good thing about this one, you can have all of your accounts. So let's just choose one. For example, I'm using my fan page. This is the Mind Gears. So I'm going to put a title, meeting with live meeting, probably. If we want to go live. Live meeting with Master Rain. Okay. Then if we do that, then we're going to title. We will talk about love and forgiveness. All right, good topic, right? You can schedule it later if you want to do it tomorrow, the other day, you can schedule. So we can also create, if you want to do it right now, so let's have it right now. So let's have to, you will be directed to the third page, which is this one. So this is now in preparation. So we can check and mute yourself. So I cannot open my cam because I'm using the Zoom, right, at the same time. But when you do this, alone you can start opening your com so hello i'm okay there we go it's working my microphone is working then the third step would be you go now to the broadcast studio so easy right very friendly so this is not the broadcast studio it's very nice no so i'm here you just tap yourself for you to go inside the web room so you will be included in the web room and once you send the link once you send the link to your to your participants for example i can see it here now you can see it's some setting right so we can just send the link later on i'll show you how to send the link to your people so invite so this if you want to send the link invite them so you copy this one copy it then uh then you just paste it to your uh group chat to your messenger so for example we copy this then I'll go to a certain page, which is uh, Facebook. So the Facebook account. Okay. So maybe I'll be emailing the link. So I'm going to email the link. Huh? So let me email the link to Rain. This is my another account. So Rain can tell us. I want to invite him to join me in my meeting or lives. And I just put it there. Then there you go. The, your friend will be receiving something like this, the link for your live streaming, okay? So all they have to do, when they click this one, when they click the link, no? They'll be automatically directed to your room, okay? So they will be here. They will be waiting here. So they will wait in the lobby. So you need to add them just like we did a while ago. You need to add them for them to join. So lahat ng, uh, everybody which you invited will be in the backstage. All you have to do is to take them for them to include in the session. All right. So the good thing about this one is that you can add. There is a lot of the we have banners over here. So if you want to add a banner, for example, uh, subscribe. 
Okay, subscribe to the banner, right? So you can see, uh, subscribe to my banner, maybe here. Mind Gears by Renz Dichan YouTube. Yeah, so they're streaming there. It's moving there at the bottom of your screen. So it's very nice while you're having a meeting, where you're having a live streaming, you can see that there. You can edit this one, okay? And if you want to customize it, this is for free. But if you want to buy a pro uh, StreamYard, this uh, watermarks will be removed. So you can just add your logo right here. No? You can add your brand. You can add your logo. You can have a color of it. You can overlay. And you can just enjoy. You can also change the color. If you want to change the color of this one to red or whatever you want, that can just be done. See? So it's beautiful. Now, are you ready? You can talk already when you invite all of your team, all of your members inside this page. You can already talk to each other. You can now handle also the meetings. So we have here, share the screen. You can share the file, the microphone, and this one. It's also mic sh uh, presentation sharing. So it's very nice, diba. Right? So all you have to do is to click this one, then they will direct you which uh, screen you would like to share okay so that's it so just take that one and your browser will be shared on that screen so see it's working now so you just have to remove them if you want if you want to remove them stop sharing just stop sharing there you go so it's very nice then you stop sharing so for for others to enjoy it the good thing about StreamYard is that you can go live see this if i take this one then I go live automatically with my page. So we will not do that, all right? So if you take this one, you will be live automatically. So you will enjoy basically, you know? Here are some functions also that you can have this screen here if you want, if you have two guests, you can have this template. If you just want more people, then you can take this one. If you want this type of presentation where the three of you can be seen or totally you will only be the one to be seen in the, in the screen of StreamYard, okay? So that's all for the StreamYard, right? And lastly, number five in my list for virtual meetings. This is so good. You can use Slack. Slack has gained a huge following among businesses in recent years. Its simple, user-friendly design makes it particularly good for facilitating collaboration, whether you are in a small team or a large corporation. I'm going to show you how to use this. All you have to do is to create Slack workspace. So sign in, sign in there, do the same procedure, sign up, sign in. You will be sent. Uh, in Slack, you will be, you need to put your uh, legit email because they will be sending you the code. Once you have the code, you can activate your account with the Slack. Okay? As easy as that. Just look for slack.com. Have this one with you so you can use it. So once you create Slack workspace, when to say uh, Slack is good for uh, meetings for communication and connection, all right? So you have to this to take this one. Once you take that one, you will be brought in the side. This is now the page. It is now the, the, the face of your Slack. So you can, uh, you know, you can just create, no? You can create some new message. We want to talk about for sales, what? For general, for sales team, you can create it there. And you can just a message. Hey, 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 Rain. Have you submitted the report? Okay, so this is just a good collaboration. So just send it there, then automatically you can use your Slack, All right? So you can create different types of uh, other teammates here. You can add teammates if you want. These are the friends that I added, no? So, but you can create your own uh, channel over here. Just create a channel, just add a channel over there. Browse channel, create a channel. So your channel may be maybe a singers, maybe you have a group of singers, then create. So there you go. Done. We have now here, you're another channel of singers. 
it's very nice to use slacks because you can also uh you know just uh enjoy the simple conversation with your team all right so add people if you want you no know? so you can just uh invite them to join you in this meeting and you know, a collaboration that you can use also okay so that's all that's easy that's the best way for you to communicate with your client if you have a, uh, a meeting automatically if you don't want to have that uh video conferencing solution to your problem you can just go to slack to join all right hope you learned from me today now that you have the basics all you have to do is to explore and experiment to all of the functions of this apps for you to be able to enjoy the goodness of this apps in the coming presentations and virtual meetings that you will be making all you have to do now is to send them link and you also the link coming from them and experiment and explore with your family and with your team members every day for you to expert and for you to totally love the different features it can give you thank you for joining me and for watching so do you have any question please drop it down in the comment section below i'll find some time to answer all your questions and please don't forget to like my fb page the mind years and please also don't ever forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel my name is Renz Teacher Sain keep alert be safe God bless us all see you again next time